Have you ever wondered why more than 20% of the world's population relies on chopsticks for eating? How did two sticks start a massive mealtime revolution? Well, these thin handheld sticks used by billions of people around the world has a truly ancient past. Apparently, Chinese ancestors were the first who invented chopsticks. Earliest forms of chopsticks history date back to 5000 years. The first physical evidence was found roughly in 1200 BC during the Shang dynasty, which were excavated from the ruins of Yan in Hunan province of China. Interestingly enough, at that time, they weren't used as eating utensils. The Chinese used them for cooking since they could safely reach deep into boiling pots of water or oil and prevent themselves from getting burned. So when did chopsticks make their way to the dining table? It wasn't until 400 AD that people began eating with these utensils. This happened when Chinese population boomed. More people mean less fuel for fires. This is when cooks were forced to conserve resources by cooking faster. Cutting food into smaller pieces before cooking made cooking faster and used less fuel. As food became bite-sized, it was easier to eat with chopsticks and this is when knives became more or less obsolete. The story also goes that chopsticks became a replacement for knives due to non-violence teachings of Chinese philosopher Confucius who was a vegetarian and he believed that sharp utensils at the dinner table would remind eaters of the slaughterhouse. He also thought that knives sharp points evoked violence and warfare, killing the happy mood during meals. As time went on, the influx of Chinese immigrants to various Southeast Asian countries increased. There is evidence that other Asian countries such as Japan, Korea and Vietnam began using chopsticks around 500 AD. The first chopsticks came to Japan by way of Korea around the area of Wakasa Bay on the Sea of Japan. Early Japanese chopsticks were used strictly for religious ceremonies and were made from one piece of bamboo joined at the top like tweezers. In Japan, chopsticks were 8 inches long for men and 7 inches long for women. As time passed, different cultures adapted different chopstick styles. Chinese chopsticks are square at the top and tapered down into rounded ends. Japanese chopsticks, on the other hand, are short and sharp, mainly because they are good at eating fish and it is easy to remove fish bones with sharp chopsticks, whereas South Korean chopsticks are flat and typically made of metal. That's because South Koreans love barbecue. The metal chopsticks won't burn when the meats are grilled. Vietnamese chopsticks are longer and with ends similar to Chinese ones and are traditionally made from wood. Wood and bamboo were the natural early forms of chopsticks and are still the most common materials used. In time, bone, ivory, bronze, brass, silver, gold, coral and other exotic materials have been used, especially for wealthy chopstick owners. These small bamboo utensils do have surprising benefits. Chopsticks can actually help diners maintain a healthy weight because they force you to eat slowly, thus helping control your portion size and reduce your risk of heartburn. Some Koreans believe if used correctly, chopsticks utilize about 30 joints and 50 muscles in the forearm, wrist and elbow. Currently, Japan and China are the largest users of chopsticks. Japan uses over 24 billion pairs annually and China over 45 billion and producing it needs 25 million fully grown trees every year. So the next time you pick up Kung Pao chicken and ask yourself, do I really need disposable chopsticks? In case I have increased your historical appetite, then please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and see you soon.